नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज जेवीज डॉक्टर नीरज होलिया फैकल्टी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड वेटनरी साइंस ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमेन यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर तो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज माइक्रो अरे एंड दिस बिलोंग्स टू द सब्जेक्ट माइक्रोबियल जीनोमिक्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट वॉट इज द माइक्रो अरे सो बेसिकली माइक्रो अरे अरे आर द माइक्रोस्कोपिक स्लाइड्स दैट कंटेन एन ऑर्डर्ड सीरीज ऑफ सैंपल्स एंड दे सैंपल्स मे बी डी एन ए आर एन ए प्रोटीन और टिश्यू सो द टाइप ऑफ माइक्रो अरे डिपेंड्स अपॉन द मटीरियल प्लेस्ड ऑन इट इफ यू प्लेस द डी एन एज एट द एट द स्लाइड सो दैट विल बी नोन एज द डी एन ए माइक्रो अरे इफ यू इफ यू अरे Uh, if you organize the rna there then you you will say it the rna micro array if uh, it contains the slide, slide contains the proteins then it it will uh, be known as the micro uh, protein micro array if there are some tissues then it will be known as the tissue micro array okay so uh, since the samples are arranged in an ordered fashion so that's why it is known as the array okay And data obtained from the microarray can be traced back to any of the sample, because you know you know that uh, which spot is from uh, which sample. Okay, so this means that genes uh, on the microarray are addressable. So the number of order sample on a microarray can number into the hundred of thousands, and the typical microarray contains several thousands of addressable genes. Okay. so the benefit is the uh, saving of time because uh, in this method you can um, reveal the information from thousands of genes uh, in a single shot okay so uh, what are the various types of the microarray so there are a uh, few types of the microarray uh, the two or three microarrays are the main main and uh, they are uh, manufactured differently okay like the dna microarray or cdna microarray oligonucleotide microarray is there protein microarray is there okay so let's understand one by one what is that so uh, cdna microarray so uh, in the cdna microarray uh, the uh, this type contains the cdna fragments 600 to 2400 sorry 2400 uh, uh, micro array 2400 genes or uh, you can say the 2400 nucleotides okay so it is the uh, this type contains the cdna fragments 600 to 4, 2400 nucleotide in length and when making a cdna micro array each of the different probes must be chosen independently and made by the pcr or traditional cloning so then uh, all the dna probes are spotted on on this slide so uh, the cdna microarray have uh, various steps first step is the extracting the extracting and labeling the rna samples okay extracting and labeling the rna samples so uh, in uh, the uh, the RNA, uh, rna extraction and labeling Uh, sub steps are there three sub steps are there first is the isolation of rna okay so uh, the rna uh, it can be extracted from tissue or cell samples by common organic extraction procedures used in the most molecular biology labs so both the the total rna and mrna can be used for labeling but the contaminating uh, genomic dna must be removed by dna treatment so the amount of uh, the total rna necessary for a single labeling injection is about 20 microgram uh, while the amount of mrna necessary is about 0.5 microgram a uh, lesser amount are known to work but require extreme purity and well developed protocols so the second sub step is the labeling the rna by reverse transcription so there are two methods of labeling one is the direct labeling another is the indirect labeling 
so in in, in the uh, direct labeling of uh, the uh, rna uh, is achieved by producing the cdna from the rna by using the enzyme reverse transcriptase and then incorporating the fluorescent labels most commonly uh, it may be psi3 or psi5 or uh, other fluorescents uh, fluorophores are available like the psi3.5 tamro texas red but uh, have not yet found widespread use so second uh, method of labeling is the indirect labeling in in the indirect procedure a relative uh, re sorry a reactive group usually a, a primary amine is incorporated into the cdna first and the uh, psi3 or psi5 is then coupled to the cdna in a separate reaction the advantage of the indirect method is a uh, higher labeling efficiency due to the incorporation of a smaller molecular molecule during the reverse transcription stage next up step is the purification of the labeled uh, products so one once fluorescently labeled probes are made uh, the free unincorporated nucleotides must be removed and this is typically done by column chromatography using conventional spin columns or by ethanol precipitation of the sample so some uh, protocols perform both purification steps as small a uh, side radioactivity is still around and may even make a comeback in microarray incorporation of 33 uh, p33 or uh, sulfur 35 label nucleotides into cdna is have high rates and provide more sensitivity than fluorescently labeled probes so after the uh, extraction and labeling of the rna sample we will move to the second step that is hybridization and uh, the in the hybridization conditions for the hybridizing, hybridizing fluorescently labeled dna uh, so the uh, conditions for hybridizing uh, hybridizing fluorescently labeled dna is on microarray are remarkably similar to hybridization for other molecular biology applications generally the hybridization solution contains salt in uh, salt in the form of buffer uh, standard sodium citrate uh, a detergent such as sodium dodecyl sulfate a non specific dna such as yeast transferase <coughs> Uh, and the repetitive dna such as the uh, human uh, cot1 other non specific blocking reagents used in the hybridization reactions including the uh, bsa that is the uh, bovine serum albumin and uh, or uh, other uh, uh, other blocking reagents may be used so lastly the hybridization solution should contain the labeled cdna pro produced from the Uh, different rna populations so hybridization temperatures vary depend depending upon the buffers used but generally uh, are preferred at approximately uh, 15 to 20 degrees celsius below the melting temperature uh, which is 42 to 45 degrees celsius for pcr products in uh, 4x ssc and 42 to 50 degrees celsius for long oligol So hybridization volumes uh, vary widely from 20 microliter to several ml. For small hybridization volumes, hydrophobic uh, cover slips are used. For larger volumes, hybridization chambers can be used. So hybridization chambers are necessary to keep the temperature constant and resist uh, the hybridization solution from evaporation. So in small volumes, the hybridization kinetics are rapid. So a few hours can yield. Uh, uh, reproducible results although overnight hybridizations are more common uh, next uh, step is the scanning okay so the following hybridization microarray are washed for several minutes in decreasing salt buffer and finally dried so either by centrifugation or the slide or a uh, uh, rinse in isopropanol followed by quick drying with nitrogen gas or filtered air fluorescently labeled microarray can then be read with com commercially available scanners 
most microarray scanners are basically scanning confocal microscopes with laser exciting exciting at wavelengths specifically for psi 3 and psi 5 the typically dyes being used in experiments and the scanner excites the fluorescent dyes present at each spot on the microarray and the dye then emits at a characteristic wavelength that is captured in a photomultiplier tube the amount of single uh, signal em emitted is directly in proportion proportion to the amount of the dye at, at the sp spot on uh, the microarray and these values are obtained and uh, quantitated uh, on the scanner so uh, uh, the construction of the signals from each location on the microarray is then produced and for cdna microarray uh, one intensity value is generated for the psi 3 and another for the psi 5 hence cdna microarray produce two color data and affymetric chips produce one color data because only uh, one mrna sample is hybridized to every chip and when both dyes are reconstructed together a composite image is generated and this image produces a typical uh, microarray picture so modern cdna technology uh, technology so newer technology has been developed to decrease the uh, variation in size on spotted samples in microarray in newer cdna microarray the samples are spotted on to a glass slide using inkjet printer technology and the cdna samples are sucked into the separate chambers for the inkjet printer here and then spotted onto the glass slide as much as uh, link is spotted onto paper in a printer so inkjet technology prevents the variation in size and quantity of cdna in the samples spotted special adapters have been developed to prevent the inkjet samples uh, channels from mixing thus preventing the cross contamination so uh, this was about the uh, cdna uh, microarray uh, the oligo microarray and the protein microarray are still remaining and that will be covered in the next lecture so uh, hope you are satisfied with this tutorial session and if you have any query uh, you can write in the comment box i will uh, read it and i will try to resolve your doubt or query and this session is powered by digital version 2 jyoti vidyapeet women's university jaipur uh, thank you